your girl, Miss Diva Trucker. I'm coming to you today. I am here in Brownsville, Tennessee, and I'm on my way down to Atlanta, okay? But I wanted to come back and give y'all an update that I am safe and okay, all right? So the situation that happened, you know, with the trail is all over with. I got me some vests. I came out here. I'm running, y'all, so I'm busy running, 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 okay? I got a lot of catching up to do, okay? So, um, but everything is okay, just to make sure that, you know, I be more careful and t to not to make those mistakes, those simple mistakes again, and just make sure that I pay attention to my surroundings and what I have, okay? I don't want to ever end up in that situation again, okay? So, it was a lesson learned and everything, and... You know, I've been uh, from over in Oklahoma, um, up to Kansas, uh, Tennessee. I'm just everywhere. I'm moving, okay? So, y'all, I'm just like waking up, going, waking up, going. So, I've been really um, just getting it in this week. But I wanted to come and talk to y'all about because um, people have been asking about you know should they get their own authority they see a lot of people getting their authority or they see some people getting their authority is it worth it um is it hard or di just different questions about the authority okay um when i first started trucking okay when i first started being out here y'all and if you go back and look at some of my older videos and things like that uh, when I first came out of school and uh, got my truck and all that kind of stuff, you know, all I kept talking about was uh, building my fleet, getting my trucks, getting my authority, doing all this, doing all that, and all that kind of stuff, okay? And to be honest with you, I was a person that did not know a whole lot about, you know, what it takes to have an authority and multiple trucks and all that kind of stuff. Now, since I've been in this game for about four years now, my um, thought process have changed a little bit, okay? Um, right now, I still got a lot to learn. I still have a lot to learn, okay? Especially in this business. It's so much to learn about here. And when you take a jump from going from um, lease operator to... Um, um, buying a truck and trailer to get in your own authority it's a lot okay i gonna be honest with you it's a lot and it takes a lot of knowledge to do that okay and a lot of people jump the gun and do it before it's time but everybody will learn and their experience is not going to be your experience your experience won't be their experience but in my opinion no i'm not ready to uh, step out there and just jump and get an authority, okay? Um, some of the things that I see out here can really put you in a bind if you don't know what you're doing out here, okay? Um, if you're not familiar with the rules, the regulations, the laws, the DOT stuff, um, what you have to have, your back office as well as your front office, if you don't know how to run that game, getting an authority is a waste of time. To me, if you don't have your truck and your trailer, getting your authority is could be a waste of time because if you only have your truck you also need a, a trailer okay um and you may get turned down from lows once you fresh with a fresh dot number out here it's a lot of competition okay um there's competition in dry band reefer uh, flatbed uh all all different aspects of trucking there is competition okay and when you are one person show you have to compete with people that got multiple trucks people that got mega carriers okay that's why you see there's a lot of small companies get brought up or merged with other companies because they're not surviving just being their little small company okay um and um just the rules and regulations. Let me tell you what happened. DOT in Oklahoma, y'all, they do not play, okay? I want somebody to explain to me, and I maybe need to look up the research and research this. What's the difference between a DOT officer and a regular, like, police officer or sheriff or anything like that? 
what can the sheriff do that the DOT officer can't do or what can the DOT officer can do that the sheriff can't do okay because I thought like the DOT officer can't arrest you they got to call like a regular police person to arrest you and stuff like that I thought that the DOT could only write you tickets and things like that it has to do with inspections and um, going through the scale and all that kind of stuff I say all that to say this Yesterday, day before yesterday, I was coming from Wichita, uh, Kansas, right? Picking up my load, got on the turnpike, going down 35, I think it was, going down 35, and got pulled into the way station, okay? Today, it was, they was not playing today, okay? Today, that day, they were pulling everybody in, okay? So, you know, when you go through the way station, and it says open, and you get on the way, way state, on the scale, and it says park your truck around in the back and bring your paperwork it's gonna be a problem okay so um they pulled me in went to the back parked the truck got all my paperwork and everything and went into uh the dot station okay now uh when i got in there i'm like you know attitude a positive attitude will get you a lot out here okay um so I went in there and I was like, you know, y'all ain't serving no milk. I thought y'all called me in here because, you know, um, y'all may have been serving milk and cookies and it was driver's appreciation and y'all wanted us to come in and get, you know, a snack or something. And uh, the man said, no, uh, we need to see your registration, your IFTA, your insurance. I mean, all this kind of nonsense. I was like, okay, so I gave them all that and everything. And we was just joking back and forth with each other and laughing and stuff like that. Asked me what I had in the trailer. I told him. Um, uh, he asked me where I was going. I told him. He asked me. Um, 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 I think that's about it. Then he said, okay, we're going to go out and we're going to do a level level one inspection i'm like okay cool i just got my truck washed right so you know this ought to go good and then each level each level uh each inspection you know i get fifty dollars so you know i'm all happy about that and i'm sure everything is okay so we go outside and he pulls me to the side and he says i'm not gonna do no inspection on you i just want you to come outside because the the guys that are in there are getting tickets and one of them has been arrested and I don't want him to freak out if I just let you go like that and I was like okay and he said well when you go back in here he said just act like ain't nothing going on I'm gonna give you um, a piece of paper or whatever and go on you know go on about your business and I said okay he said because I think he's gonna get a little bit out out right now this guy had his uh, own authority and his own truck okay they done, he said he was arrested, but I don't think you could get, you can't get arrested, right? They had arrested this man, and you can't leave the DOT without paying a fine, okay? You got to, like, bond out or something like that. So, he had to come up with $300 to leave the way station, and then had all this stuff that they wrote him up for that goes on his authority, Okay. And I mean, when I say this man was hot, he was hot, okay? He was a man. And then another man came in after me, and you know, you know when, um, when it ain't gonna be good and they ain't got all their paperwork, when they come in with a whole stack of paperwork, that mean they ain't got all their stuff together, okay? So this man walks in there, he got a big old stack of paperwork, papers just falling on the ground and all that kind of stuff. So he comes in there and, you know, I'm being nosy and I'm standing right next to him and he said, cause the, uh, the uh, DOT officer, we just laughing and he just taking his time. So I'm seeing what's going on. So um, he said, uh, he told the man, he said, um, he said, that's your truck? He said, yeah. He said, uh, what's the name uh, of the business? And he told him, he said, is that your business? He said, yeah, this is my business. Um, I got my own authority or whatever. He said, well, you know you're supposed to have an if the, ta uh, if the sticker on your truck. And I'm going to need to see all your paperwork and all that kind of stuff. My man did not have all his paperwork. He had just 
bought his truck, okay? He just bought his truck. He didn't get nothing for it. I mean, it still had the dealer tag in the window. So, he didn't have no if the sticker. He didn't have nothing. Now, what he messed up with is he was carrying a load, okay? He had a loaded trailer, and he didn't have all his paperwork in order to be running that truck and that trailer without the correct paperwork. Oh, honey, they was finna get him. That, that man had no mercy on him. He, um, he said, well, when did you buy the truck? He said, a couple of weeks ago. He said, um... He asked him, when he buy a truck? He said, I bought it a couple of weeks ago. He said, you ain't get your uh, all your paperwork together before you, you know, got your truck? He said, oh, the man said, well, I was going to do all that when I got to um, Texas, because I'm from Texas, and I was going to do all that when I got to Texas. I'm on my way that, there now. He said, do you know that you're not supposed to run a truck under a load, and you don't have an Insta sticker and all this other kind of stuff that you're supposed to have, right? He said, yeah. He said, but I um, um I was in, he said, where you been for three weeks? Like that. And he said, well, I was in Vegas um, um, with my daughter or something like that. And this, you know, I'm just now coming home. And he said, so you've been in Vegas for three weeks and you haven't had a chance to get your paperwork together? And he said, no, oh my God, this man, this officer wrote this man so many tickets. It wasn't even funny, okay? So it's like, you know, those are some of the things that I am concerned about because you can be out of business before you even in business, okay? And especially if you don't have the money, like one or two things that can go wrong with you out here can really put you out of business. And I don't care if, you know, what situation you in, it's ups and downs in this business. It's not going to always be you know, I'm making all this, I'm making all that. Because the quicker you make it, a lot of times, the quicker you can lose it as well, okay? So, what I'm saying to you is to take your time. I talk to a lot of drivers that have had their authority, okay? That don't have it now. And the reason is, is because things, some of it is because, you know... They got too many stuff on their record. A lot, uh, it wasn't worth it for them. And the paperwork, it's just a lot. So what I say to you is take your time and think if that's something that you really, really want to do. Also, average out what, did, how much more, is it about the money? Is it about the independence? What is it that you're really getting that authority for? Are you wanting to add more trucks? Is it more... Is it so that you want to have more control or a higher percentage or things like that? And you may want to take all those things in consideration. Now, my, my way of thinking has really changed about an authority, okay? And what I think now is instead of me getting a authority and all these trucks and trying to run trucks, okay? I'm mostly uh, going towards um, the broker broker side of the business, okay? I would rather talk to customers. I would rather get clients. I would rather uh, deal with shippers uh, and deal with people that already have their own trucks and trailers, okay? I would rather do it that way. I'm not... I, my my um, goal has changed as far as me buying a truck, getting another truck, getting another truck, getting another truck, getting another truck, okay? Um, where I'm going is the more that I learn out here on the road, the more that I want to take it a different direction, okay? And I think that I want to not be, have an authority for to run my truck and my fleet. I will rather um get a broker's license and be a broker and work for home because what i'm trying to do is i want to get to a stage that i'll be able to run my office my business from home and not you know having to do it out on the road all that takes time all that is a learning process and the more uh you learn the better you will be in business especially how to manage your money and how to uh keep 
keep your score down okay for one thing and to build a relationship with um, people who already own their trucks people who already own their trailers okay so that's what I think I'm doing I am working in the stage of that's why I'm going you know went to the school to do the brokerage that's what I want to learn the most my goal has changed I don't want right now in my thinking of and to go rush out there and get an authority okay um, cause that's not going to really get me back to the house like I want to. So I think the best thing for me to do is to build the business and the relationship on the brokerage side and start that business. So I'm able to be at the house instead of out here having to run a truck and then running, trying to run other trucks as well. Okay. So that's my take on it. That's my opinion on, um, getting your own authority. And, uh, other than that, y'all, I got to go. I'm on my way out. I will talk to y'all later. And, uh, let's see what else. But yeah, y'all, I'm just, I'm just running. Okay, so let me go out with my little music for the day. I'm on my Beyonce tip, honey. Let's see. Just got a number one diva in this game.